Hey YouTube, I'm back and in this video I'm going to show you my brand new studio. I moved into a new house as I showed you in the last video, I gave you a little quick tour and I had to tear down the old studio, the old house and rebuild it here and I outdid myself. It is the absolute best thing I've ever made. Um, but the the greatest part of this video is not going to be really showing you my great awesome place to craft and make videos. It's I, I believe this to be the absolute best filming setup possible for any kind of crafter. Whether if you're a YouTuber, uh, you do it for Facebook or podcasting or uh, any any if you're using a camera a lot and you're actually recording your content, what you're doing, or if you're taking an excessive amount of photos. This is the best possible thing you can do. It's super simple in concept, but once you see it, it's going to be like a, oh man, moment. But anyhow, I, I want to jump right to that, but I'd like to show you the actual studio first, if I may. Okay, here is my new studio. That's my work area where I'll actually craft and make my videos and stuff. Here is the area where I'll sit and edit and play games in between crafting and stuff like that. I got all my junk and stuff over here on this table. Um, I did, I, I hung a couple styrofoam things on the walls and ceiling to help reduce with the echo sound in here. They're kind of generic. Uh, I don't know if they even do anything, but it sounds pretty decent in here. Um, but that's the only thing in this entire room is this desk and this workstation. It's roughly 68 inches long by 29 inches deep. And it's a simple two by four frame supporting a piece of plywood with two legs made of two by fours. I ordered a sheet of Formica from uh, from Lowe's and it is basically a really really thin hard sheet of um, this material that you, you use it to simulate granite countertops and marble and stuff like that. It's way 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 cheaper. It's really easy to clean and really really durable. I'm really happy with adding that element to the studio this time around. And to power the lighting, I have over here what I, I used Romex, and I put me some Panduit, and it goes underneath, it runs to this switch. That switch actually actually works, which is pretty cool. Then it runs back to the wall and it runs up the side through that Panduit, and then jumps inside that box right there. I have to shut the light off to show you the lighting, but under the canopy, you'll see that there's like this two by four with six LED light bulbs. They're all 100 watts, but they only use 16 watts a piece, and they produce 1600 lumens each. So to run this, it only costs me 98 watts, and it gives me over 12,000 lumens. That is an awesome amount of light. So I'll see what I need to see, and also the camera will see what it needs to see because cameras love light, just so you know. Okay, so why is this canopy so special, you ask? It's, it's super simple. The work surface diameter, the parameter of the work surface was matched up there. It's the same thing, it's 68 by 29. And it's not just a clever housing for my lighting, it is a camera mount. I wanna show you really quick, this is the part that's, that goes up here. I, I I didn't put it up there to keep the video kind of clean looking, but this is usually always up there. It's just a 2x4 with another 2x4 right here. And this is a like a, a camera mount thing that pivots on both ends. That's where the camera goes. And it pivots on both ends. And in the middle it folds. If you loosen this right here, it folds. So what this does is you basically take this and stick it up in here. I mean, it can go anywhere you want, all the way around the parameter of this. It can go all around this. It can be at any angle, up, down, or whatnot. And this right here 
can rotate all around. It can come out back this way. If I need it to go deeper, I just put a larger, long, longer board on it. And then you have this right here. So you could literally set this up any way, any way you want. You could put this camera in any position all over this table with this setup. And it's, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. I'm going to actually show you now what it looks like set up. Like if I was in a filming situation, I got this dragon out here uh, that I made and I'll just set the camera up like I was maybe working on it or something. And I'll show you how it looks with this all set up. Okay, here the camera arm is installed. You can see how the camera goes on it and it's the adjustments that were made to point the camera at the dragon at that particular angle. And there's the display for that. It shows me it shows me what y'all will see after I make the video. Um, this is really, really good because there's been times in the past before I had this idea where I, where I thought I was filming something and I really wasn't because the camera wasn't even pointing towards it or or whatnot. It's good for, you know, being sure about what's going on. And if you need if the camera if the angle's not right, you just move this thing around. I keep my microphone in the back, you know, out of out of sight but close enough to where it's, you know, comes in nice and nice and clear. But this is the concept that I wanted to show everybody. It is so simple but yet so brilliant. Well guys, that's pretty much it for the reveal part of this video. I just wanted to ask you if you know of anybody that films, like that does a, a hobbyist that films their content and they put it on whatever, share them this video. It might help them. It's not rocket science. It don't have to be followed exactly like how big I made it. Just a basic concept. You know, you got your workstation, make a canopy over it that matches the, the dimensions of that and then you can use that canopy as a mounting bracket with a 2x4. I mean, it's super simple. It, it, they might be really, you know, appreciative of that. Uh, and plus, it'll help me out, you know, as a YouTuber. So please share share this with whoever, you know, that you know crafts, you know, that crafting person, girl, guy, or whatnot. But this next part of the video, I'm just basically just letting you be a part of some of the construction of it. It's nothing extravagant or anything. I'm just just trying to spend more time with you guys. But I do hope you enjoy that part. I thank you for watching this much so far. It means a lot. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And let me know what you think about this studio. It is it, to each their own, you know what I mean? A studio is only, it only needs to be what the person who's using it needs it to be. And for me, this is perfect. So maybe it'll be good for other people. Just let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd love it. I'd love to hear from you guys. But in this next part, I'm going to be just showing you some stuff. So thank you for watching this far. You guys are all awesome. Okay, for the past few days, I've been working on my little studio here. I got the bottom part of it done. It's pretty simple in design. Just some simple framing with a sheet of plywood on it. It's anchored on the wall by uh, 10 screws and there's of course some feet in the front right here just some simple two by fours and up here I don't know if you can see those two lines that I drew on the wall that are going parallel or horizontal I mean those are the bottom of two of these frame things they're just rectangular boxes I'll have two of them running parallel uh, I'm gonna put it up as high as I can over here in this corner right here where it meets the ceiling and they're going to be about 11 inches apart and they'll both be anchored onto the wall by studs about 10 screws a piece and I also got these hooks right here that'll it'll support it on the front a little bit it's going to be plenty of support once that's done and framed out up there these two little box things I'm going to wrap it and this plywood right here and it'll actually hug the contour of the ceiling this is going to create like an overhead canopy which I'll put you know I'll put some light bulbs in it six light bulbs actually but uh, I just wanted to show you the some of the progress of what I'm doing I was going to show you me hanging this first piece up here 
what I do is I'll, I'll, I'll take this 2 by 4 that's down there on the, on the table and I'll put it parallel or horizontal across and underneath where it makes it easier. It's, it's really good doing it that way if, if you're by yourself and you have nobody to have hold something for you. Okay, just a couple screws will hold this in place. It won't let it, won't let it move and it'll act like a rest, a resting point for this other stuff to go up. I'm just gonna bring it up here, set it down, and then level it with a two foot level, and then wrap this around a screw that I already have driven in to those boards. Uh, I'll level it first before I start driving it into the wall. That way I don't stress those screws that are going into the wall. Okay, <laughs> I got that thing up here. Now I need to know how off level I am. Hopefully it's not too far off because I just bent that wire. It's gotta go up just a little bit. Okay, it's pretty close. Now I'll put the rest of my eight screws up along the five studs that are available to me. I just catch five studs, so that actually works pretty good. Um, by the way, when working around wire, you should have safety glasses on. Only an idiot would do this without glasses. I don't know where mine are and I just, just wear, wear safety shield because the wire could poke your eye out. But this is pretty much up here now. That little board going across that way, that's just to keep the support, like the, keep it square for me. So it won't do this number here or there. Now, now that board that's underneath it, I can take that off and that will stay this will stay put. And then I'll, I'll build me another box just like this, a square, you know, rectangular trough type thing. And it'll go right above this line. And then I'll do the same thing. I'll actually put another screw in that one and run this, that's why this is so long. I'll run this down and wrap it around that screw for frontal support. Once those two things are done, I'll take this uh, support stuff off and um, I'll sheet it, but I'm gonna make it to where it rides the ceiling where there's no gap up the top. And it'll be perfectly level all the way across. Okay, here it is pretty much all framed up and ready to go. I have the sides on it, but I left the front off so I can do the electrical. A little easier for me to get in there and work with that. Here's some of the stuff that's involved with the electrical with for the lighting on this. I have 100 watt LED lights. Um, I'm using six of them as you've seen already. And I'm using this 2x4 and I drew some circles with some dots in the middle of them evenly spaced apart. That's where I'm going to drill the little dot in the middle. It'll show me where I need the drill to be centered with the 2x4. And I'll be using this bit right here that I got from Lowe's to drill me a hole so I can get the wiring through. I got these clamps to, you know, hold the Romex down so it don't move around on me. There's my Romex and there's some Panduit that I bought. I'll use that to hide all my wires, you know, and make it look clean, give it a real clean look. What I really like about these fixtures that the bulbs actually screw into, it's dual terminations. You can uh, have two sets of wires running. It has two hots and two neutrals. And that makes it really easy to daisy chain or wire in parallel. But this is pretty much the electrical, the extent of it. I also had a switch and a little junction box, but I didn't show that for some reason. Okay, this is coming along very nicely. I wanted to stop kind of like halfway through to show you 
you the different stages of what's going on here. I got my three lights right here is installed and if you look in the back you can see how it terminates like right here is the end of the line and two feeds come into that you know one from each direction and like I mentioned there's two there's two terminating posts for the you know the, the different the hot and the um, neutral uh, and it ends down there with a single one which I'll bring in my uh, my main feed in this is pretty much what I wind up with with the two wires that come in I just stripped them and you know looped them over keep my neutrals on one side my hots on the other uh, if you always bend these to the right by the way when you go to terminate them they won't they won't jump out of their you know the screw I don't you might already know that I just thought that would be a little tip for somebody those those ain't um, done yet I just got three more to do and then this can go up up there and all I have to do is put my face on here and of course I have to run power to it and I'll you know use my pan to it uh, I probably won't show any of that but this is uh I, I actually my impression of this is this has got to be the best thing I've ever made it's so nice it's so clean all my ter all my terminations are really really tight and I, I can't believe the level of quality that's going into this but it's like super super nice just to give you just to give you an example this is what I had this is what I had before in the old studio, the old house, these porcelain things—they were just so crappy. I ba I basically had a a roof on that overhead thing, which I bore a hole in big enough to set that down in, and I just screwed my lights in from the inside, and all that was exposed on on top of it. You didn't see it and all. But this other thing is just so nice. I don't think I've ever done anything so nice. I don't even have to have them all on at one time. I could just reach up and un you know, I could reach up, where's my hand? Oh, I could just reach up and unscrew one or two or three. You, you know, I can have it isolated lighting. Uh, this is so, this is so cool. I, I really don't even know what to say. I can't believe this. Uh, but this is pretty much it for the little sneak peeks where I'm showing you different parts of the, the construction of it. Um, I just wanted to you know, show you a little bit of what's going on, what went into doing this, and uh, I hope you enjoy, you know, enjoyed it anyways.